<laughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome. It's Bill Sklodowski, and it's time for iPhone Friday. And tonight, it's all about what to back up, how to do it, and why you're doing it on your iPhone. And here's why this is all uh, important to me. Let me, uh, let me tell you a little story. Um, you know that in my uh, day job, uh, one of my day jobs, along with uh, teaching all things iPhone, is I also help out some folks uh, here in the community with tech support and, uh, you know, with their computers, Windows, Mac, all kinds of things, and their devices, their iPhones, their iPads, just about any kind of high-tech goodie. Um, and in the past week, I've gotten two different uh, uh, panicked phone calls, I mean, really, from users who have been infected by or have experienced ransomware on their computer. Now, the good news is this is not really something that affects an, uh, a phone, or an iPhone, at least. I can't speak for the other guys. But uh, ransomware, if you've never heard of it, uh, really scary stuff. It's an infection or a malware or some bad guy on your computer that basically locks up your computer so that you, as the owner, can't get to all the important information on your computer. Your documents, your pictures, your videos, your uh, everything is, is locked up and you get a message that, you know, if you want to get your stuff back, you have to pay a ransom. And, and that's just, it's a special place in hell for people like that, but that's another story for another day. So while this isn't really something that's going to affect your phone, I did want to mention this because I know that so many of us along with having our iPhones and our iPads, also have regular computers. You know, the, my house is, is, is full of them, and I'm sure, you know, you've probably got one as well, if not more. So let me just leave you with this message, and that is a, a legitimate company, a legitimate software company. You know, Microsoft, and I'm not picking on Microsoft, I'm just using them as an example. Microsoft is never, listen, listen to this carefully, please. Microsoft is never going to call you and tell you, oh my gosh, the sky has fallen. We need to connect to your computer to be able to save you from some catastrophe that's coming, okay? That will never happen. So, so now that you know that, don't ever, you know, uh, 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 take any kind of an action on a phone call like that, because they do actually, they call you. They actually call sometimes. Sometimes it comes through an email, sometimes through a phone call. It doesn't matter. It's never legitimate. Never legitimate. I'm being super serious here, and I know that's, you're probably not used to that from me, but I've seen it, like I said, a couple of times this week, and it's not the first or second time I've, I've run into it as well. It's, it's, a, it's just nasty. It's a terrible thing. And it's, the good news is, for the most part, it's 100% preventable, okay? So just never take action. No, no company is going to email you and say, we need to get into your computer and connect, or you need to download some software to, to, to save your computer for some, from some you know, bad news or something like that. But I've heard it done over the phone as well. And there are ways, I mean, you've watched like, you know, you watch these conference calls or Zoom calls or whatever where people connect their computers and they talk and all that sort of thing. It's easy to do. And it's easy for once someone is connected to your computer to infect it with a virus that can hap make this happen on your computer. So <laughs> I'm going to calm down now. <sighs> I'm going to calm down now. Hmm, and I'm going to be okay. Don't ever let that happen to you, please. I just, um, I want to, you know, make sure you're okay here. All right. So that got me thinking about backing stuff up on my phone. Okay, that got me thinking. Now, like I said, the good news is, for the most part, that's not going to affect, you know, the phone. Because they have a whole different way of, 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 you know, working and all that sort of stuff. But still, might be worth talking about how you back things up on your phone and, and how you'll find them should you need them. So let's jump over to the phone. And um, as we do... I want to, uh, you know, take a quick look at the settings, okay? So let's go out to our favorite little silver gear there, all right? And the thing you're looking for is always going to be under the first big settings thing, right? I mean, right by your smiling face. If you have a picture of it, it might just be a, a little gray, you know, silhouette or whatever. And sometimes mine's the silhouette and sometimes mine's the picture. I don't know why. So just, 
but but it will have your name on it, and it will have the it says Apple ID, iCloud, iTunes, App Store, etc. So if you tap on that, all right. Obviously, this is all the information about you. You know, if you have a credit card in there or a password, of course you have a password. Uh, payment, shipping, so all that kind of stuff that you deal with. You know, when you buy apps uh, or use your credit card online or whatever. Now, underneath that is the important one, which is iCloud. Okay. Now. Um, if you have an Apple device, anything, a phone, an iPad, a Mac, computer, a laptop, a desktop, it doesn't matter. If you have uh, a, a, an Apple device, a piece of hardware, you're going to have an iCloud email address associated with it. Okay? So on mine, I mean, you, you can, and that's how I should, let me finish that piece. That's how your phone. Uh, that's the account that your phone accesses when it backs things up to the cloud, when it retrieves things from the cloud, etc. Okay. Some people are always surprised by, I have an iCloud account? Yes, yes you do. Okay. So now it doesn't, you can use any email address to get to it. Like I, you can see mine, I have, you know, it says my Gmail address up at the top. That's not important. You still have the account. So if you tap on that, all right. So now you're going to see uh, the storage. Now you always get uh, from Apple to start, you get five gigabytes of storage space. All right. You can pay like I have done. It's a dollar a month to move that up from five to 50 gigabytes of storage space. If you need it, if you don't, don't bother. But uh, that's just what that little, you know, bar graph there is telling us is how much storage space I have and how much I have used and what it's being used for. Like you can see on mine, the yellow, it says underneath is photos. So I'm, most of the space that I'm using for storage is for photos, okay? So here's the important stuff down below, below, which is apps using iCloud. And you can see that just the photos has an on or an off switch. And if you have it turned on, basically what that means is every time you take a photo with your iPhone, that that photo gets uploaded to the cloud and is available to your other devices. So if you have an iPad and an iPhone and a Mac computer, if I take a photo on my iPad or on my iPhone, it's going to show up on the other devices immediately. Very cool. Very helpful. Okay. So usually that's on and that's fine. Now there's also the Google Photos app, which also backs up photos. It's another story for another day, but I'll get on with that. The other ones underneath are all the apps that are using some of your storage space on iCloud to back themselves up in the cloud. Now, why is this helpful? Let's say, God forbid, something happens to your phone. It's 4th of July weekend. You jump into the pool with your phone in your pocket and maybe the phone or, you know, you drop it on the patio deck or something like that and it just is, you know, destroyed or, you know, unusable. Let's put it that way. If you get a new phone, all right, you can use your iCloud account basically to reach out into the cloud and pull back all the information that was on your previous phone and it automatically gets sent to your new phone and it's it's yes there's a little bit of work to you know sign back into some of the accounts but everything that was there comes back and you know all of your you know uh, contacts and email messages and your in my case your you know notes and my news and the stocks all the things that are on this list over here can be backed up and put back on your new phone in just a few minutes and you're safe now Obviously, they toggle on and off with the green switch the same we're always used to. Now, you might notice that for me, I have mail and contacts turned off, okay? Now, why is that? Well, I'll tell you, and it might make a difference for you too. In fact, I'm guessing that it might. And that is if you use an email account that also has its own cloud-based system, right? that your email and contacts are going to be out there on that system rather than on the iCloud. They can be on both, and that's okay. You can do both. But it might cause some problems, especially with contacts. I've seen where you get like two, two of everybody, three of everybody of all your contacts. You know, they start to multiply. And what happens is that, you know, it's backed up on one system, and then it goes to another, and then it just starts. It becomes a crazy. All right, that's crazy. If you have a Gmail account, if your email address ends in at gmail.com or Yahoo or AOL, God forbid, or sorry, AOL people, 
but uh, you know, or Outlook or any of those, okay? Those services all are their own cloud-based service. So all my Gmail is out there on the Gmail cloud. All of my contacts are out there on the Google cloud, etc. So I don't need to back them up to iCloud and waste space and also risk the possibility of things multiplying crazy, right? So I can turn off the backup here on the phone knowing that Gmail or Google is also doing its job backing up the things that it has of mine, email, uh, uh, calendar, and contacts, okay? So that's why you can turn those off safely here on your phone, all right? Now, how do I know what my account is? Well, if I go back to, oh, if I go back to settings, push the camera button there. If I go back to settings and I go on the home page of settings, you can always tell it's got the big settings up at the top, scroll down to where it says passwords and accounts. See the passwords and accounts with the key there? Tap on that and you will see all the accounts that are on your phone. And what do I mean by accounts? Well, I have a Gmail address, I have an iCloud address, I have a Yahoo Mail account. I, you know, all of those are on my phone, all right? And if you look carefully, it, it might be hard to see, but for example, under Gmail there, I'll bring that up a little bit. On Gmail, it says right under it, mail, contacts, calendars. And if I tap on it, I can see, oh look, the mail and the contacts and the calendars are all turned on here in this Gmail account. Which means, again, if something should happen to my phone and I add back the Gmail account, all right, all of my mail is preserved, all of my contacts are safe, all of my calendars are still out there and I can still get to them and I haven't lost a thing, all right? So with that in mind, you can check on your accounts here to see what is going where or what's coming from where. Like I also have an Outlook account, you know, BillSlodowski at Outlook.com, but the only thing I use it for is mail. And so that's the only thing that's turned on, all right? Now, you know, I also have a Yahoo account, and the only thing that's for is, it, is email. So cool, all right? As long as my, you know, contacts and calendars are going somewhere in the cloud, I'm safe. Now, if you're one of those people, and, and there's people out there like that, that all they have is the iCloud account. They don't have a Gmail account. They don't have Yahoo or AOL or anything. Their email address is iCloud, right? Then, yes, you're going to have to, under settings on your phone, you're going to have to have all of these turned on, the mail and the, you know, down there, mail, contacts, et cetera, turned on to back them up, all right? But no matter how you do it, the bottom line is this. Make sure they're being backed up somewhere, <laughs> right? Because if something happens to your phone, I can replace the hardware. I can replace the phone easily enough. What I can't replace is my contacts, and I've probably got five, six, seven hundred contacts in there, right? Some people, in, if you're in business, I know business people that have thousands of contacts, and if you were to lose those, that would be a catastrophe, okay? So make sure they're being backed up somewhere. And if that's Gmail or, you know, Google, Google, Gmail, same thing, that's fine. If they're being backed up to Yahoo or AOL, or, that's fine. But if all else fails, you can also make sure they're being backed up right here to iCloud, all right? Again, this is the why. Why am I backing this up and how am I doing it that we talked about earlier, okay? So that's going to do it. I wanted to keep it uh, short and sweet and simple for the day. If you are going to go out and uh, watch some fireworks tonight, be safe out there, okay? But in the meantime, let me just remind you that, um, let's jump back over. In the meantime, let me just remind you that if you haven't done so yet, please feel free to jump over to the website. Look at that, to BillSklodowski.com. And just click on that Click Me button there right on the front page. And all you got to do is it's all it asks for is an email. And then one, once a week, you will get from me an email, usually on Sunday, with the recap of the videos that have come out this past week. So like on the Sunday email coming, I'll say, hey, on iPhone Friday, we talked about how to back up your you know, email and your contacts and all that stuff. And on What's New Wednesday, we talked, I don't even remember what we talked about, but it'll have a link to the videos. So if you've missed the videos, you'll be able to go back and watch them right on the blog at BillSklodowski.com. And also there will be a link for the free handout that I give away every week 
you know, from this training today, there'll be like a screenshot by screenshot review of how to go in and check your settings on your phone to make sure things are being backed up properly. So you'll get that for free as part of the email, you know, that comes out on Sunday. So again, BillSkladowski.com, jump over to that. I'll just put that out right there. There's the address down at the bottom, BillSkladowski.com and sign up for the email list. And if you are watching this on Facebook or YouTube or on the blog and you have questions or comments, feel free to post them below. And if there's uh, friends that you think uh, would be, uh, you know, get some value out of this, go ahead and share it with them as well. But, oh, I wanted to mention about the uh, comments and questions. If you do have questions or if there's something you need some help with, feel free to post it wherever you're watching the video right now. And uh, I will either answer it with an email or it might even become the very next iPhone Friday video. Who knows? All right. That's going to do it for today. Have yourself a great weekend. Be safe out there this holiday weekend. Uh, keep washing those hands. And uh, we will see you next week. But thanks for joining. Take good care. Bye-bye.